Did you know that you can actually use the Planet Scale CLI to create offsite backups of your database? Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison and I'm on the developer education team here at Planet Scale. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use a combination of the Planet Scale CLI and a cron job to automatically create offsite backups of your Planet Scale database. All of the steps in this video will be performed inside of an Ubuntu virtual machine hosted inside of AWS. And the only thing I have configured ahead of time is the Planet Scale CLI installed and configured, as well as a service token set up in my environment variables to handle authentication with the service. I covered how to do this in a previous video, so I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the corner of this video. And with that, let's get started. I am logged into my Ubuntu virtual machine hosted in AWS. And I already have my service token and service token ID configured as part of my environment variable. So if I type in pscale dbls, I get my bookings db database that is set up in my ps deved organization up in planet scale. So what we're going to do is use the pscale db dump command, which will create a MySQL dump of a database within planet scale. Now there are two required parameters for this specific command. The first is the name of the database in planet scale. So bookings underscore DB. And the second one is the branch name. I have a single branch inside of bookings DB named main that I will be creating the dump from. And then finally, you can also optionally specify an output directory where you want the dump to be saved to. So I will type in bookings underscore db underscore dump and hit enter. And what will happen is the planet scale CLI will create a dump and save it to a folder named bookings db dump. It's important to note that this folder must not exist before the dump takes place. Otherwise, the command will fail. Now, if I type in ls in my home directory, you can see we have the bookings db dump folder. If I cd or if I ls that bookings db dump folder, you can see there's a number of SQL files as well as a metadata file that can be used to restore this database to a different destination. This can be a new database inside of PlanetScale or can be a local MySQL instance if you wanted to test changes to your application locally, for example. Now, typically when you're trying to automate backups, you want to create a script which will run at a specific interval to create those backups. So what we're going to do now is set up a bash script that can be used along with a cron job in order to backup your database at a regular interval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nano a new file named backupdb.sh and let's specify that this will be a bash file by typing in a hash mark, a exclamation point followed by bin bash. And then we'll need to specify the name of a directory that has not already been created. One of the easiest ways to do this is by creating an epoch timestamp along with the name of your database. So I'm going to create a new script variable named name. I'll open a set of quotes, dollar sign, open friends. I'll use the date command followed by plus percent S and close my parens. And what this will do is echo out the current epoch timestamp whenever this takes place. I will then type in hyphen bookings underscore DB since that's the name of the database. And that will be the name of the directory that is used whenever this backup script is run. Next, we can type in pscale DB dump bookings underscore DB main, just like we did earlier. For output, instead of specifying a folder here manually, we're going to use the full path to the directory we want to create the output to. And for the example, I will type in home forward slash Ubuntu. So that's just the home directory of the user I'm currently logged in, in as, followed by a dollar sign and then the name of that variable we created earlier. And then just for good measure to monitor this as it happens, I'm going to pipe the output to another file in my home directory. named pscale dump.log. And what we'll do is once we set up the cron job, we'll tail this file so this way we can see in real time as the backups occur. I'm gonna save the file, and then I'm also gonna change the permissions to allow it to be executable. So now I should be able to type in dot forward slash and then the name of my script and hit enter. And we won't get any output since we're piping the outputs to a log file. However, if I type in ls, we can see there is a new file here named pscale dump.log. And if I log this out, this is the output of that command that was run via the script. You could see there's the name of the folder with the timestamp in front of it. In fact, you can even see that same folder inside the directory. Now, the only reason this actually works is because we're executing this script in the context of the user we're currently logged in as. And again, I have the service token, service token ID and org name set as part of my environment variables. In fact, if I use print env, 
you could see inside of my environment variables, here's the token, and then the org name and the ID are a little bit farther up the chain. This is gonna create a potential issue when we set up cron in order to execute this because it will not run under the context of the user. However, the way that we can get around this is by adding these environment variables to a file named etsy forward slash profile specifically on my Ubuntu server. So I'm going to sudo nano etsy forward slash profile, scroll down to the bottom, and I can add the environment variables here so we can reference it in the cron job. So I'll type in export, followed by planet scale, service token, set that to the value of my service token. I'll then also export planet scale, service token ID, set that to the value of the service token ID, and then finally export planet scale org, and set that to ps hyphen devit. I'm going to save this file and now let's add a cron job in order to utilize these environment variables as well as execute the script that we've created. So I'm going to type in cron tab E, which will open up my cron editor. I'm going to create a new entry here with five stars. Typically when you're setting up some kind of backup interval, you'd want to do it on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, etc. However, I'm going to use five stars just to run this every single minute for the sake of this demo. Now we're going to type in bash underscore ENB and set that equal to Etsy forward slash profile, which is going to tell cron to utilize this profile when executing the script. And then I'll type in the path to the script. So home Ubuntu backup db.sh and save the file. We got a output stating that cron tab has installed a new cron tab. And then finally we can tail and follow our pscale dump.log and we'll give it just a moment and watch to make sure that cron actually executes when it's supposed to. I fast forward the video just a bit, but you can see there that cron had actually executed the backup of our database. And it does show the exact same output as when we run, ran this command manually, with the exception of the timestamp that was added to the folder. Now, if I type in an ls inside of my home directory, we now have two folders here, which correspond with the dated backups that have occurred for our database. After watching this video, you should have a good understanding on how you can create an automated backup system using cron and the PlanetScale CLI of your PlanetScale database. If automation is your thing and you enjoyed this video, check out our other video where we explain how to use the PlanetScale GitHub actions to automatically create database branches whenever you create a new branch in GitHub. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.